G'day and welcome, thank you for joining me, I'm Fainley Saley, and this is Against Great Darkness, the prologue, a demo for a little indie game that's popped up on Steam and come to my attention. Don't know a whole lot about it yet, it is apparently a brick breaker, roguelike, with a hint of uh, bullet hell as well, and that just sounded quite interesting to me, so I thought I would check it out, we'll just make sure this isn't too loud, looks pretty good, we'll just jump right in. Okay, what have we got here? Very um, minimalistic art style. Artemis, the mistress of animals. She embodies the hunt as well as the protection of nature. Two discs, three hit points, and two cleansers. We've got all sorts of different stats here. Sword of Wrath, Infallible Bow, and Pillar of Salt. Increase your difficulty with level modifiers. Pretty full on to be a brick breaker game i'm not expecting character choices and weapons and stats but here we are so what's the difference this car this character has three discs three hit points three cleansers a good fortunate spirit which believes that destiny resides in luck and chance above all else i don't know how to pronounce that tai tai chi tai chi i don't know he has a gemstone say is chakra and ansile shield then we have zealous a winged enforcer who is the embodiment of dedication, zeal, and a rivalry. One disc, three hit points. What's the major difference here? Five luck, lots of dodge. Is more discs good or bad? I don't know. I think I'm just going to stick to the default. And move on with it. So, the mortals cast you down here. You are mine, pagan. Little demons dancing in the background. Be not afraid. I am here to aid you on your ascension. Is that a biblically accurate Bible? Every angelic entity is equipped with a disc. Throw it ahead and juggle it without losing it to the maw. If you do lose all, do not worry. Okay. Left and right and juggle the discs without losing one. Okay. Oh. Well, how am I supposed to get both of those? I don't understand. Oh, that was purely on me. They bounce off each other. Interesting. Juggling and keeping a certain number of discs active is important. Many relics require those actions to trigger their powers. But there is another of there is another of unusual unusual quality. There is another of unusual quality. Try to slam into a disc as hard as you can to turn it into a fastball. Fastballs also deal more damage to your foes. These charged discs also recharge your cleanse upon juggle. I don't know what cleanse does. Slam into a disc. So like, is that just going sideways? Yep. Slammed it straight back into myself. Notice the fastball radiates with energy. I think I see. Ah, yes. Now it's time to learn to cleanse. Take this shield. Upon activation, it will erase enemy projectiles. It will also save your discs from the abyss below. Its powers will replenish after each tide of foes. However, for this practice, I will sacrifice some of my power to aid you. My power will replenish the cleansers and will allow you to dodge all attacks. Let's try it now. Press space to cleanse bullets. Easy as that. You are worthy of redemption. To escape the depths of hell, you must defeat its minions. Many will be summoned to block your way. You must purge them to move forward. What is... Oh, this is a lot. I don't know what I'm meant to be looking at here. <laughs> so I'm shooting bullets up. I've got to hit the enemies and dodge the enemies, but return the discs at the same time. Oh, I missed one. That's a bullet. Damn, the disc was sort of dragging. So I've lost all my discs and I've got hit a bunch. Ah, oh, that was the real thing. <laughs> okay, what do these weapons do for me? On two juggles, release two direct projectiles that penetrate enemies, dealing nine weapon damage. A weapon which shoots heat-seeking arrows which deal five weapon damage. 
Enemy deaths have a 35% chance to shoot out two rays of light, which deal five weapon damage to every enemy it passes through. That's interesting. I'll try the bow, I guess. Oh, maybe I have to unlock that. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, good start. Now we sort of know what's going on. Get on with it. So, where's my disc? Okay. Another disc there. It's um very hard to know what the hell's going on. <laughs> I'm bouncing my discs okay, but I can't actually really tell what's going on with these enemies. Oh, that was a bullet. Uh, gain light or event. You have found a small cache of light. Take 25. Now tell me what that does. Oh, the disc bounced off right, right off the enemy. I must admit, I don't really know what's happening. Okay. Shrine or event? Uh, shrine. A shrine with the statue of a disc. A heart and a shield stands before you. Make an offering. Okay, I'm offering moats. Ah, that's this. I have 88 moats. I can get a max HP, lens, or a disc. Uh, HP, I suppose. Give it a go. Three discs now. Missed one. Missed two. I don't know what determines when my discs appear. Or they, or they fall from the sky. Okay. We want to bounce the discs. We want to hit. Whoa, jeez. No way I can get to that one. Gain light or heal. I might heal. Taking a little bit of damage. That disc up there. Okay, that's a good move. It was bouncing around up there for a while. This is um, an extreme combination of your breakout, but also, uh, yeah, just a top-down shooter. Obviously, like a scroll or a bullet hell. A bit of peggle involved, I guess. You want to bounce the ball around as much as you can. Uh, let's go to the store. Essential most star. Passive increase of 2% critical chance. Can't afford that. Sacred text of apocalyptic proportions. Passively gain one dodge, one luck, and one percent critical chance. But reroll, heal, or exit. I might as well just buy that. Because that's all I can afford. Get these bullets up in the air. Oh. Run into a spicy bullet. I don't know if it's just me, but I, I'm really struggling to keep track of what's happening up the top half of the screen when I'm just trying not to drop these discs. I'm not really aiming at the enemies. I think they're just dying as a consequence of me juggling. Uh, I definitely will heal. Because I'm not very good, apparently. <laughs> Whoa, that's been unfair. And uh, I just missed both the discs. <laughs> okay. Whoa. So I have to watch them because you're going to get enemies doing that kind of crap. Uh, you need to. Oh. <laughs> they just bounce off each other and just screw me. Man, I'm really struggling here. It seems like it's not the end of the world to drop a disc. I thought that's what killed me in the demo, but I must have just got shot. So, it's not the end of the world. I'll just... No, oh, there you go. 
but I need to focus a bit more on the monsters when they're dropping down on me like that, just so I don't die instantly. These discs, discs up, there we go. I really I just keep bouncing them off each other and just sending them straight down into the pit. There we go. I might go to the event. Trinkets and baubles. A pile of curios lays before you in the rubble. They each look intriguing, but only one catches your eye. Bauble, trinket, or leave. 7% per juggle to spawn a new disc. Demon Blood Swirls. On four juggles, gain 300% attack speed for two seconds. I want the bauble. Every so often I'll be bouncing away and another disc will just spawn. Which I guess is a good thing. You always want more of those bouncing around, I guess. Disappointing myself here. <laughs> I'm still trying to work out where I should be looking. If I don't look at myself, I'll just do that kind of stupid thing and just walk straight into a bullet. But if I neglect the top half of the screen, I just get dropped on by those octopus things. Sounds like a skill issue. Speedy. Damn. So there must be some stats I can upgrade in terms of my, you know, general firepower because that's just an auto, an auto fire thing. But it seems like the discs are the primary damage dealers, or special abilities are, and these are just a secondary sort of deal. Uh, I'll go to the store now, have a bit more money. Passively gain one explosive damage, one fire damage, one disc damage. Kind of, oh, I used to can't afford that. Winged Boots of the Messenger. Passive increase of 10% attack speed and 2 luck. Can't afford the drum though. Boots, so attack speed and luck, or explosive fire and disc damage. I guess attack speed and luck. Who's that? It's a nasty piece of work. I think I just dodged to the disc instead of bouncing it. Lots of, uh, Projectiles this time. Oh, I'm gonna kill myself here. Four discs going. Three. Ah, I lost one. Lost two. Lost three. <laughs> okay, lost them all. That's not ideal. Does this thing have a health bar somewhere? Oh, on the side there, maybe. Yeah. Jeez. Ah, oh, I need to be using my cleanse. That's probably not helping. Completely neglected that. Bit of a get out of jail free card there. Oh no. Ah. Okay. Gotta earn some. Of that, whatever that is. Let's try someone else. Three discs, three hit points. One disc, three hit points. Guess I'll try him. 
On four, juggles release two barrages of homing projectiles, which deal four damage. On juggle, 20% chance to drop a chakra. When collected, causes an explosion at a random enemy, which deals 15 explosive damage. Or on juggle, provides a 30% chance to spawn a shield guard. That could be good. I like the offensive nature of the gemstone. Let's see if this plays any differently. I have a feeling it doesn't matter what character I play, I need to just learn where to look. Oops. Wasted a lens. Um, I noticed this ship isn't shooting. Ah, those stationary looking discs that drop down it must be those explosive chakra things. Because they seem to be exploding things nicely. I still think I'd prefer to have direct fire. Uh, let's go to the store. percent to attack speed. Can't afford it. Massive increase of one to all explosive damage. Yeah, may as well just heal. I think. Okay, so when I juggle, that's when the bullets start firing. A little bit situational. Don't really last long enough for me to be able to aim with any real effectiveness, but it was hogging the bloody chakra thing. Let's be rude. Uh, let's go event. Crucifixion. You come across a field of crucifixes and notice an individual still nailed to a cross. I've spent an eternity here. I was a thief in life and have never gained forgiveness. Hmm. I can heal or I can kill him for a crown of thorns. On taking damage, deal 50 weapon damage to all enemies. Oh. I wonder if that's as overpowered as it sounds at first glance, but 50 seems like a lot. That really knowing how these damage system works in this game just yet. It could just be one of those things like, uh, you know, Bonnie of Isaac, you have ah, something like a black heart where if you take damage or lose the heart, the whole screen just gets damaged in an attempt to like clear out all the monsters surrounding you or something. I'll have to uh, experiment with that. Uh, I'll gain light this time. Currency. So dumb. I wonder what all that currency is adding up to though. Can I upgrade something here? Can spend a thousand there. Righto, there's a bit to do. Bit of progression. And unlocks. Ah, so it must just be, uh, as you find them, you unlock them in, in this screen. Looks like there's a lot to it. Try this last character. Only one disc, three hit points, two cleanses. Can't tell if I'm choosing one of these or if they're just all active. Or oh, maybe I'm stuck with that one and I have to unlock these. I'm not quite sure. Let's have a look. Oh, dodge him. Alright, we're shooting something. Just nice. A little bit slow, but I definitely feel better having a direct fire happening most of the time.
That's nice. I'll get some light. Only 25. Okay, so I suppose less discs is pretty bad because you obviously juggle slower. You trigger your specials less frequently. I also can't remember how many times I need to juggle to activate my abilities here. There we go, that was six. And then I lost it. But that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good area of attack sort of ability. Uh, let's go to the store. Earrings of Shiva. The destroyer's pair of earrings. Passive increase to one of one to all explosive damage. Three juggles. The last disc bounce becomes an automatic fast ball. Headpiece of a soul rider. Whilst on one HP, gain 50% attack speed. I'll go the sh oh no, I won't. Can't afford them. I'll go the crown. Oops. What? Oops. So that'll help me in a pinch anyway. We need to learn the right time to use a cleanse. I feel like I'm underutilizing those a bit. But is it worth it to like clear a bullet just so I can reach the disc again? Or you know, do you take the damage or do you just let it go? I'm sure, a much better player than me could tell you that. I'm gonna go to the event. Sad succubus. A female demon kneels crying before you. In life I had nowhere to turn to feed my family. Is this the eternity I deserve? I have no need for this heart of mine. Take her heart for one max HP. Or leave. I'll take it. I'm sure that won't come back to bite me later. I'm just trying to work out whether the disc stat is the maximum amount of discs or if it's just like a rate of fire for them. I feel like it might be a maximum. Yeah, because I'm certainly not seeing a second one come along. I quite like that ability. It takes ages to get though. No, <laughs> I'm go to the fastball and just whiffed it completely. All right, uh, give me some light. Every so often I just lose sight of the disc and everything going on around enough to like take a second to readjust. It's very concerning. <laughs> Be nice, uh, I don't know. I mean, it looks nice, but it would be nice if it was easier to see at a glance what's happening. Nothing really seems to stand out. The bullets are not bad. I mean, the enemy bullets aren't bad. Okay. One luck and one dodge. Five luck. Two luck. I don't really know what that does, but tell you what, I'll get it all. I don't know what dodge does either. I don't think there's a dodge mechanic. Maybe it's just movement speed. Like I always miss the disc coming out there, so I really wish it was a bit, I don't know, brighter or a different color or something. Just stood out a bit more. I know it's difficult when this is the you know the game's aesthetic and has its own design choices and art style. Needs to be a balance. And again, as I said before, it is also very likely it's just a skill issue and I need to get used to it. I'll tell you what, it is, um, you know, Brick Breaker games don't usually uh, really keep me that interested for long. 
<laughs> but this is doing a pretty good job. I just love seeing things like that turn into much deeper experiences with stats and skills and deaths and enemies and discs and things. That's what's great about this like current resurgence of random things being turned into roguelikes like we saw um, Dungeon Clawler, the claw machine roguelike, we've got Balatro, we've got um, Bingle Bingle, which is the roulette roguelike, like seeing all these just everyday things and into these games with their own progression and skills and qualities is just, I don't know, there's something about it I quite like. Uh, I'm gonna... The greedy demon goblin sits before you counting coins. He holds out his hand. Care to invest? Give him everything. Yes. Take my money. So I think the shields um, regenerate after each wave, I think that's what it said. So if I was to use one now, I want to kill these last four enemies, the new one, they should replenish. Fine standing. Uh, not so, maybe it's not a wave, maybe it's just like a, a, a level or a, a group. It was a good shot, that disc went right in between a few lines of three of them. Couldn't do that again if I tried. Okay, uh, I need an event and just hope that it's going to heal me. A mystery prize for 50 moats, I don't have it. Oh yes I do, I made that back, I'll take the deal. On bounce, 41% chance to apply a slight upwards force to all discs it hits. Okay. I didn't quite catch what the disc has to hit. Ah, whoops, that was an accident. I like this character, but yeah, really, I feel like you're missing out on not having more discs. Oh, I see. I think I just shot the disc up. So that ability applies to bullets, maybe? I don't know, it doesn't seem to be working anymore. Or maybe it's just every so often you shoot one of those enchanted bullets or something. I don't know. Ah, that was dumb. Game over. 86 juggles. Uh, 9 was my record highest juggle. There you go. Little, little track of what I collected along the way. There you go. And uh, plenty of uh, shards for my troubles. Alright, well I might leave it there. Again, this is Against Great Darkness. It's an interesting little take on the uh, Brick Breaker Bullet Hell sort of combination, plus the roguelite elements of course. Uh, I'll leave a link to this one in the description. The demo is available now. I believe the full game is actually out now as well. I'll actually just confirm that. Uh, yes it is, it is out now, so it came out earlier in the month. So if this is interesting to you, go check it out. Link will be in the description. And if you like this and want to see more, I like to cover indie games and I'll do some playthroughs of some other games as well. Um, yeah, consider subscribing. Helps me out a lot. Keep you in the loop when new videos drop. And if you have any feedback or game suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.